Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Steve Reinhars, CEO and CTO of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. It's going to be a bit of a special Thanksgiving weekly video today. The first thing that I want to do is thank everybody who's watching right now and potentially wave to and say hello to some new faces that might be on the other side of my camera this morning. I know that we have an incredibly excited and supportive group of people that watch us and uh, promote us and share us. So my guess is there could be some other people sitting uh, with you whenever you're watching this. So I wanna say hello to everybody there today. It's Thanksgiving weekend in the United States. And uh, a couple days ago, I issued a little happy Thanksgiving to everybody using Brad and Bradley. So everybody check that out. It's kind of cute. But I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody celebrating it. And today what we're going to do is we're going to give thanks to Radcam. So I'm going to share with you a few of the top reasons why I really, really love Radcam and why, quite frankly, you should be buying it and sharing it with all of your friends and family. Let's talk about some of the top reasons that I have. Getting into Radcam, I gotta tell you, I've been in video my entire career, you know, 30 years almost. And one of the things that I focused on, especially with Rad and AITX, is elimination of nuisance alerts. And in my own home, I get nuisance alerts from the cameras and devices I have around the house. This, what you're seeing right now on screen, is something that is perpetually doing a few different things to our heads, okay? Let's start with use of time and how residential cameras massively interfere with use of time. You guys know me, you guys know how focused I am, how disciplined I am, how intentional I am. And because of that, I shut out almost all interruptions that I possibly can. When I'm in my day, I'm like a robot. I am just tackling the different things I need to do to be as productive as I possibly can, whether that's a leadership task or a technical task or a financial task, whatever it is, I'm down there and I'm focused. And I have a deep resentment for nonsense, nuisance alerts. Now you could turn them off, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of having the alert. What we need to do is we need to make that alert make sense and only inform you, i.e. interrupt me, when it's something that's important to me. And that's easy enough to define. As a quick sidebar, I have to share with you that the media, the mainstream media, does such a great job of promoting security devices because what happens around the world is if something bad happens, if there's a burglary or a home invasion, something like that, what happens is it gets broadcast everywhere. And over time and over years, when you turn on the news night after night after night, you keep seeing horrific things happening. And over time, it kind of twists your head a little bit to think that these types of events are frequent and nearby. And the reality is, is they aren't. Okay. The reality is, is these types of home invasions are outrageously rare and even burglaries, depending on where you live, are very rare. So the security industry kind of panders to this idea that a security camera is going to help your security needs. And it does. But the reality of it is, is your security needs residentially are generally so low to start with. Your risk is so low that your probability of something happening is low. And what's happening is you're buying a solution for a problem that really doesn't exist, statistically speaking. What happens at a house? At a house, there's generally two things that happen. Number one, you get visitors. Neighbors, friends, family, whatever, right? You're getting visitors. That's number one that happens at your front door and your back door and your side door. Number two is you're getting packages. And those packages come in two flavors. You either drop and run or I need a signature. That's what's happening overwhelmingly at your house all the time. There's a third scenario of things that happen, and that could be, hey, there is a real security issue. And RADCAM caters to these real things that happen at your house, okay? This isn't a security camera. This is a home concierge 
that helps you process and manage events at your house. We're gonna pull up my RadCam, and I have several different RadCam, Rad apps in my Rad folder, so I'm gonna select RadCam. So RadCam pulls up, and this is what I see. I see kind of where my you know camera is. I see this, this is where people drop off packages, and that's a gate to my house. Now, a couple of things that you'll see, if you're a beta tester, you know this. If you're not, then I'll share with you. The field of view on the beta units, which is what I have, which is what anybody has right now, are uh, is is very kind of narrow. The production units have a wider field of view, so that's why you're seeing a relatively narrow view here. But what you see here is you see your camera, you'd see any of the cameras that you want, and you're going to notice that it's in concierge mode. And concierge mode is the mode where when RadCam sees you or sees a person, it says, "Hey." Nice to see you. If you've got vision on, it'll say nice hat, nice shirt, whatever. It'll give you something personally identifiable. And then it enters the challenge statement. Are you here to drop off a package or visit the resident? Again, back to what happens at your house. Two things, visitors and packages with security, a very distant uh, possibility. So we're in concierge mode. So on this screen, I can see what's going on. And I have a, a nifty siren button. Again, that's not like a huge feature. That's not a cool feature. Uh, but we have all the normal features that anybody else has. What we really have is we have intelligent events. So now I switched over to my events screen. And you're going to see right off the bat, a person wearing green boots and khaki pants is standing near the gate area. Okay, great. Our, our gardener people came today. So I know the gardener's there, right? I'm not getting uh, someone's at your front door. I know exactly what it is. And since this is still a beta unit, I don't have an image of the person, but actually in staging right now, an image of that person shows up in the thumbnail event description. So I can leisurely take a look and say, okay, gardeners are there, great. Whomever's there, great. That's helpful to me. Instead of being pestered throughout the time, with a lot of nuisance alerts, huge. Okay, now we're talking. We're going to talk about packages. So uh, Doug is going to pull up a picture right now of what happens when a package gets delivered, and Radcam is speaking to the person delivering the package. You, as a resident, get to be alerted and given four options on how you want to handle that. You don't have to get on two way and talk to anybody. You don't have to fight through. The microphone, I can't hear you, can you hear me? I don't know, blah, 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 you don't have to do any of that. You push one of the four buttons and boom, RadCam says that to the person and you know what to do. It is the quickest, easiest, simplest, safest way to interact with somebody delivering a package at your door. Similarly speaking, let's take a look at the screen that you get when there's a visitor at your door and the visitor wants to speak to you. Now, again, you're being presented a limited number of options that you just get to push immediately and the situation is handled. If in these situations, the person doesn't leave, then the unit escalates, escalates, escalates to the point where if you have local response dispatch activated, then the unit when it hits a certain threshold of being aggravated or threatened, makes that phone call, makes that phone call to local law enforcement or local security or your gate guard if you have one or your favorite neighbor who's always home, whatever it is, that's included. And I don't know of anywhere where you can get SOS services for 10 bucks a month, but you can with us because AI delivers these things so inexpensively. RadCam attacks the residential security, so to speak, market very uniquely and in a way I think that people will be copying very soon. Again, boiling down what happens at your house, two primary things and then a tertiary thing that happens rarely. So we know that happens, but RadCam does more in terms of innovation in this space. And of course, we have, uh, you know, the masking features and the ability to watch pre-recorded video and share cameras and so on and so forth, okay? Easy, easy, easy stuff. On the more exciting side, and we talked about event handling and how you're presented the options, you saw those screens. But on the on the fun side, right now, we've got two voices to play with, which are super fun. fun. Hey, I might want a deeper voice, or I might want a higher pitched voice, great. Choose what you want. want. Hint, hint, 
more voices are on the way. I might want to enable advanced visual analytics where the Rad Cam is really saying, hey, nice suit, nice hat, nice this, really kind of engaging the people well beyond what they might think of it being a motion detector camera. So that's great. But there's another feature that I know will be copied soon, and it's called voice passphrase. And the way that this works is that let's say that I'm talking to my neighbor or a delivery person in, in the camera view on my front porch, maybe my wife, whatever, a child or kids are playing, whatever it might be. Well, hey, I don't want that rad cam constantly barking at me and me not leaving and it escalating to the point where it calls somebody on me, right? So we have owner passphrase disabled mode. And basically what happens is, I'm gonna see if it works as I'm screen sharing. Let's see if this works. I love rad. Okay, so you see that what it did is it heard what I said and it turned that into words. I love rad, I'm gonna push confirm on it. Now, what happens is, is if I'm in front of my rad cam and I don't want it to be barking at me, I want it to be off for a few hours because we're in front of the house. I say to in rad cams like, hey, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. We say, hey, I'm the owner, I need you to turn off for two hours. Okay, and rad cam says, great, if you're the owner, What's the passphrase? And you give it the passphrase that you just put in there, right? You give it the passphrase that you just put in and it says, okay, you're validated as the owner. I'll shut myself off for two hours, three hours, whatever it is that you ask for. So that's really cool. I don't have to have my phone around all the time. At the same time that I give, gave it my passphrase because the delivery person might be there or a neighbor might be there, I'll get a notification on the phone asking if I want to change the passphrase, right? So we're kind of completing that loop. Super cool feature. Bottom line is this, security is baked into the solution because when you're in security mode, and remember, there's three modes here. There's concierge mode, there's security mode, and there's quiet mode. I'm not gonna go into security mode, but when you're in security mode, it's gonna immediately challenge and activate the siren and then do the identifiable information. So you're really shocking whoever might be there. And then of course, escalating via SOS to somebody that you've designated to get a phone call. Folks, that's RadCam. Tell me that that's really a residential security camera because it's so much more. Okay, you got some of the key features for RadCam. Um, what I need you to do now is go to radcam.ai and ask the chatbot that is on that website any other questions you have. Installation, cost, whatever it might be, okay? That AI chatbot is ready to go, is ready to be your salesperson so that you could take advantage of our uh, Cyber Monday deals, which are gonna run through December 2nd or December 3rd where you can get a single rad cam for 69 bucks or three rad cam for only $199 as well. You'll get three free months subscription when you buy a 12 month subscription, which is already discounted 20%. So it brings it down to like $3 and 19 cents a month on cyber Monday for 30 days recording. Folks, check out the rad cam, add your comments, We've got a great uh, user-generated video from one of our new salespeople, Corey, uh, that you should watch as well. Um, and let me know, but I'm really hoping you will be a RadCam client, that you'll love it, that you'll share it, um, and that you'll benefit from the work that Rad is doing. Everybody, thank you so much. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. We'll talk to you soon.